Today, we're gonna be going over 10 different affordable sneakers under $300. But this time, we're gonna do it with a twist and actually go to a sneaker store and see what shoes they have on the shelves. So right now, we're at Untied LA, and this is one of my favorite sneaker stores on the West Coast, and I'm excited to show you guys what they have. I know we got some steals and deals in here because I always find bangers. Let's go ahead and get it started with the first shoe. First up, we have the Gorge Green Air Jordan 1. I think this is a great option for somebody who's just getting into the shoe game and looking to get a pair of Jordan 1s around the retail price point. Currently, this shoe retails around $180, and if you look at different resale websites, you're gonna see somewhere similar to that same price as well but you're gonna have to factor in fees and shipping, which is gonna push you a little bit over $200. So based off of the prices that I'm seeing at Untied, they have a marked at $200, which is 20 over the retail price, but actually cheaper without the fees. So realistically, this is a pretty good deal, and I thought we should put these on the list to start things off hot. All right, so what do you guys think about this shoe? Drop a comment down below. Let's take it to the next one. Next up right here, we have the USC Nike Dunk Low. I think this is a great option because you can wear this with a lot of different outfits. I know it has a little bit of that kind of yellowish gold on the back end, of the shoe but i think that's okay if you're covering it up with pants and different things like that either way i think this is a very universal shoe and i feel like it was really good for the list because i found these for 200 at the store and i noticed online that they're selling for around 190 to 195 dollars and after you factor in fees you're looking at somewhere closer to 230 bucks for the shoe so that means you're actually going to be able to save more money and another thing to take into account is if you use the discount code dna show at checkout on the untied website that gets you free shipping and it only takes two to three days compared to ordering from somewhere like StockX, it might take two to three weeks just for you to get your shoes. So not only are you gonna save a couple bucks, you're actually gonna be able to get your shoes a little bit sooner. So that's definitely something that I like about checking out other consignment and resale shops because they do actually have better deals sometimes and you can get your shoes a little bit quicker. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 6 Georgetown. I think this is a very slept on sneaker and I think definitely will be worth closer to $300 down the line simply because of the materials and the colorway is extremely fire and it usually takes time when it comes to Jordan 6s. So retail on these was around 200 bucks and at Untied they want $220, which is a little bit over, but again, like I said, factor in fees and everything like that. This is going to be very competitive with the market and a little bit cheaper than the actual StockX with the fees and everything like that. So I thought this was definitely another great option for an affordable sneaker under $300 that you can look fly with, have nice materials and have the longevity of having that sneaker in your collection. These right here, if I didn't already have these, I'd be buying them right now. Next up on the list right here, we have the Air Jordan 2 J Balvin. Now, when it comes to this shoe right here, retail on these is $300. They want $225. If you look at the market value with the ask on StockX or different places like that, it's going to be around the same price, but there's fees when it comes to the processing fee, the shipping fees, and everything like that. Again, use the discount code DNA show and that'll get you guys free shipping from the Untied website. But the best thing about that is you're actually able to save $75 from the retail price point and it's actually cheaper than the resale price point on these other apps that you use, which is another reason why I always say check out other resale stores because you can definitely find good deals on dope collaborations like this for under the retail price point. So sometimes resale stores aren't that bad. Next up right here, we have the Nike Clot Dunk High. I know this is definitely a more obscure sneaker, but this is something I wanted to point out because I found these on the shelves and they actually only wanted $100 for this shoe. Retail was 150 bucks. And if you look at online, people want 150 to 170 dollars just over that retail price after fees closer to 200 bucks so to me somebody who's looking for something a little bit more obscure and a sneaker that's going to pop this is actually going to be a really good option to say that you can get these for 100 bucks with free shipping and you don't have to worry about any additional fees i think that's a pretty good deal now next up right here we have the air jordan 6 midnight navy i think another great shoe and as you guys can tell i love jordan 6s so you know i'm going to be vouching for this one and anytime i find an opportunity to find a good deal on some jordan 6s you know i got to show you guys a shoe so for this one in particular i I think I might have mentioned these ones in the past, but again, they want 200 bucks. Retail, I think, was either 190 or 200, and this is honestly a really good deal for this pair as well, simply because sometimes when you get a shoe like this, you might be able to get it for that retail price, and it's cool because it's no longer available on shelves, but there's not no crazy demand that causes people to want to resell it for $400 or $500, yet you still may have to pay those additional fees, which causes you to pay, you know, $250 or something like that. So when it comes to the end of the day, I think this is a really good deal as well, because it's almost like buying the pair of shoes for retail, like they were to be sitting on the shelves at a Foot Locker or something like that. And again, these may still be available in some cities. I don't know. But at the end of the day, seeing a resale store having these closer to the retail price, 
price point i think is a pretty good deal let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section and let's take it to the next shoe and that is the nike dunk low kentucky so now when it comes to the kentucky dunk this is going to be an interesting situation if you look at our resale store like this you're going to see the price at 260 bucks and like we talked about with the balvins earlier it was cheaper and matching that same price but this is actually a little bit more expensive we know there's a high demand behind dunks right now but at the end of the day this is actually a really solid price once you factor in the fees and the shipping and everything like that so like i said before again use the discount code dna show that'll get you free shipping and then you'll actually be able to purchase the shoe at the same price that they're asking which will then actually save you more money than the cost that it is on StockX. so those little things right there it may throw you off with the initial sticker price but once you factor in all those other elements to the shoe and the value and what it costs for you to get it to your house and at your doorstep then you start thinking about that and you're like actually this is a pretty solid deal again yes i know there's people that don't want to spend over the retail value but there's some shoes in here that actually at the retail value as well which we'll talk about in a second now when it comes to this next shoe on the list retail was 200 dollars and they want 160 bucks at the store which is below the retail value which is great because we know not every single shoe is worth the retail price and you can actually find it under the retail price so at resale stores yeah you may see people that get them at different retail spots and they don't want it and they end up like saying hey it's not worth as much so they resell it to a resale store and then they end up flipping it for a little bit less than that retail value so somebody can find a deal so in this same situation this is where we find the clot air jordan 5 low and i think it's a really really clean shoe my dad actually has these for his collection i like the shoe a lot i just have a lot of pairs of fives already so that's the reason why i decided not to get them but at the end of the day definitely a really clean shoe you can wear it with a lot of different outfits and it's a really good price point at 160 bucks next up right here we have the air force one in the color of the month university blue colorway and these right here are so so clean i haven't added these to my collection yet but i low-key thinking about it because i don't have the mcas yet and this is a really good option and you can find these for just around 100 bucks and i think that's a good deal right now untied wants 125 dollars and if you look at different resale sites you're gonna find around 90 to 100 dollars and then you're gonna see that after fees is gonna be right around that 125 dollar price point so as you can tell with this resale shop in particular which again i'll try to do this at other resale shops as well to give you guys different comparisons on how good the prices are at this resale store compared to that one and difference with the market and after fees and difference in timing and shipping everything because i know a lot of people that are looking to get into the game that don't have those trusted resale stores that they know about and different things like that hopefully this can help you guys find good deals know where to buy and how to get the best price that you can possibly find because yeah it all adds up when you save 15 dollars here and 20 dollars there and 30 dollars there next thing you know you got money to buy a whole nother pair of shoes so we want to be strategic about this stuff and hopefully this is helping you guys get more value and actually learn a little bit more about the game and how to compare prices and where to look at for different shoes okay so last up on the list right here we have the dj khaled air jordan 5 they want 275 dollars for this sneaker and that is very competitive with the market like we have shown in the past with the other shoes i think this is a really competitive price and i think you can make your decision if you want to go somewhere else or not but either way i think this is a really good deal like i said use the discount code dna show that'll get you guys free shipping and it literally takes like two to three days to get your shoes at the door so that's always a good factor to know as well but when it comes to the sale air jordan 5 in particular we know that the crimson bliss was pretty much a flop and everybody can find those for retail or below but this one in particular i wanted to put these on the list because this is a really nice and premium sneaker and a lot more universal and you can wear it with a lot more outfits compared to the crimson bliss and i think a lot of people do appreciate this shoe knowing that they were retailing at 225 dollars and they want 275 it's 50 bucks over the retail price if you missed out on it at the you know the original release date and you couldn't get it because it was more exclusive than the crimson bliss i get that part as well well now you can pay the 50 bucks extra and you can still get a nice premium quality shoe that's gonna be i think i don't want to make this statement too soon but i think in time people might come around and we'll see a little bit more value in this particular colorway not the crimson bliss but the sale colorway and in time it may be that you know 325 or that 350 dollars sneaker so it might be a good investment as well let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section 
So that is a wrap, you guys. Those are 10 different affordable options under $300. And like I said, every time we do one of these videos, there's a bunch of different options. So I can literally have an unlimited supply of these videos. If you guys wanna see more specific models, colors, you name it, I'll make sure that I get them for you guys. So drop some comments down below and shout out to the guys over at Untied. We got some really good deals on some of these sneakers or honestly, all these sneakers right here. If I didn't have all these in my collection already, I would definitely be doing some copying right now. But I got a PE and I'm excited to show you guys. So make sure you stay tuned because that video is coming very, very soon. All right, you guys, we out. I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA I was made for it, it's in the DNA